guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode one of Pretty Boy Detective Club. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. There we go. His eyes are pretty too. All I straight up here is Sheena Boo from With long hair too. I'm guessing you did something for a reason of why you got your hair for why it's short or you know maybe just like Orion High School Host Club you got gum in your hair. Oh, that's beautiful. The music. What the heck? See, you don't start like that. Oh. You are pretty too. Jesus Christ. What is this show? I mean, Jesus. We're only a few minutes in. I know, and she's got a little, like, star in them, too. Wait, where are we going? Uh. <laughs> Shaft, you really went all out on this. Damn, like, <laughs> oh my god.
Oh, it's a pretty lamp. So pretty. Hello. Why is it that the first boy we meet in this group, technically second boy, he's got a deep voice on. Oh. Oh, and he's a redhead. My fucking weakness. Oh, fuck. His shoes. Oh my god, his shoes. He looks like Zen. Oh my god. Stop. It. Stop. I can't. Can we talk about how long his legs are? I mean, yeah, as a girl who was tall, but damn. I already know there's a lot of people shipping these two. Oh, are you going to be the honey senpai of this show? Oh, he's so cute. Pretty legs. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. Oh, so cute. They kind of look like Hajime from Danganronpa. And you know who else? He's he's probably the curious part of this series. He's only. Well, five if we count the blue haired guy. And your name is? Manabu. I like Shinabu. <laughs> Can we just say that they all have pretty fucking good eyes? Like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, this is just her being 100% Shinobu and Haruhi, like, in a nutshell. And I love it. (laughs) 
Hell, it wouldn't even surprise me if her husband's in this show. I don't even know if her husband still does voice acting. No, make me into one of you. God, her eyes are so damn pretty. What's the star? God, you just want a screenshot? See, I might do that after I'm done watching this. Find it on my phone and just screenshot that bitch. Couldn't find it. Maybe because at that time you were worthy of it and now you're not as worthy. So October 10th is your birthday. Gotcha. Honestly, you are really extra. <laughs> but it's okay. I like it. You might fall in love with one of them. Don't know who right now, but you know. Uh huh. Makes sense. <laughs> what the fuck? The shoes, though. These damn rich boys, I can't. Look how pretty he is in these sparkles.
It's a pretty name. Mm-hmm. He could be a really good leg model. Like, oh my god. Even the dude, like him, with the heels on, he could be... Huh. Huh. Mm. You had to be facing towards the scene. gonna do you're gonna camp oh my god we're, we're doing everything like the barbecue oh well yeah because i mean she has to really be in that scene all over again so that she can see the star <laughs> oh my god Oh my god, he's making the um oh <gasps> I've only seen that on TV shows, but oh my god, it's like an animated version of it, Jesus Christ. Chaff, I'm gonna need y'all to release this soundtrack like ASAP. This OSC is so damn good. Like, oh my god. Oh, but you will be. God, he's so pretty. <sighs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. And then, like in your other life, you cried over some donuts <laughs> and some fancy tuna, baby. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that could have been the star. Me too. No, 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 no. But you picked it up off the ground. Are? <laughs> I know, baby. It's so good. God damn, y'all got a big ass telescope. Oh my god, his eyes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I can't even imagine if any other studio animated this because it just feels like something that only Chef can do. Dude, oh my god, like, a chef went in. They was like, yeah, how much budget you want for a Pretty Boy Detective Club? Yes. Give us the everything. Oh, you so cute. Oh, my god. Oh, baby. Okay, so our lovely female protagonist, I do like her. It's funny to see um, her say you in somewhat of a similar role to uh or in high school host club in a way except it seems like she is going to join because from the first few minutes of the episode she has her hair cut she's like 100 percent dressed exactly like the rest of the guys in this me to do his best boy i'm sorry that that's a hot deep voice man man boy how can y'all be in junior high how can the last one be 12 if he's 12, then then I am like the queen of motherfucking England or anything else. Because there is no way in hell that that freaking cute boy with the bow in is 12 years old. Like, then how old is Michiru? Michiru, you like 13? No. Like, I... I <laughs> No, but nay, she is, she's adorable, and I honestly think I will like her the most. She might be, like, my favorite female protagonist of this season, between her and, um, Azusa from, uh, the Killing Slime series, because she was just adorable as hell, too, and, um, her future, possibly, dragon girlfriend as well, <laughs> but... Um, I love the fact that she wants to look for this star. It's the last little thing that she has of her childhood before she turns a certain age and kind of just moves on with her life. Can we also just talk about the fact is, yes, for a studio like Shaft, like, I love the little, because as someone who watched Monogatsuri almost probably now officially two years, um, since I finished the show maybe, I don't know, I'd have to go back and check, um... I love the little, like, subtle references of how they did this with, like, very similar to the Monogatsuri series where it shows, like, here's a scene with them, here's some wording on, like, um, this next storyboard or ish like that. I do like that, and I honestly wish, like, they do more shows like that because it's really, really interesting because not many series that I've seen can do something like that. That's something that only Shaft can do, and Shaft just does it very, very well because as someone who also, like... I think before I watched the Monogatari series, I watched their, huh, God, because uh, I know everybody has like love-hate relationship with this series that I'm about to talk about, but I enjoyed it only really for the character and my other best girl. I am talking about the Fate series that they animated, so of course two of my best girls were in that show, and of course, yes, I had to enjoy it, because freaking Carcaptor Sakura was in the damn show, so yes, bitch, we support Carcaptor Sakura and Rin Senpai. Rin is best girl, I don't care, Rin Tosaka is the queen, <laughs> like, bruh, 
And I really thought that, like, animation-wise, they d that show was very, very beautiful for its time, even though the story wasn't really the best. So I'm kind of hoping with, the, with this show is that we do get a very awesome story, but also a very awesome animated animation, because, I mean, like, her eye is like, oh my god, it just feels like I was looking at so much fan art of someone like really going in and zooming in on someone's eyes and their facial features and their hair and stuff and you just want to screenshot that and be like look this is my wallpaper from my phone my computer my whatever my ipad look how pretty this ish is hell if i know myself i might end up putting it on this damn alexa and just having it there because like as of right now i have pictures of my best girls on here even though you don't see it because the damn thing is loading up right now it's just showing pictures of, of like saying what i recently played but usually like after this there's always a picture either of like one of my best for best girls from i don't know cinderella girls or lisa from bendity or um saudi from d4 dj so it's like oh my god like you know when something is a really nice work of art you just want a screenshot blow that picture up get it on a poster mount it somewhere put it in your house your room or whatever that picture of her eyes and the way it was drawn like it just looks like mm, not only fan art but like oh my god I can't, i'm trying to think it's like, you know, when you go to a carnival and someone just like a free doll or something like that. That's what it looked like. And that was so fucking gorgeous. So I really hope and pray that we get like a lot of more scenes like that. Because this has the potential to be the prettiest damn series with like one, two, three, four, five boys. But I think the blonde is a girl from what, what they've said. So four boys and a girl. Four boys and two girls. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to go. Because I, I might have to rewatch this again. Because this was... This was nice. Yeah. Meet you, you still best boy, even though you ate, you know, uh, meat off the ground, aka sand. But, you know, it's okay. I still like you. You and that deep voice. So, hopefully we get an episode focusing on me too. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode one of Pretty Boy Detective Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode two. Bye, guys.